This local mother will travel to Africa soon to carry on her daughter's legacy. Her daughter, Karen Weitzel, went on a mission trip there before she was shot and killed at the Peach Stand in Fort Mill earlier this year. New this hour, Carson's mom opened up only to Eyewitness News reporter Stephanie Tinoco about the work that she's doing in Carson's honor. This is a skirt Carson wore last year that I'll be taking and wearing with me. In a matter of days, Debbie Whitesell will take a team of 13 people on a mission trip to Swaziland. So this trip kind of was born the night that Carson died. I had to go. I had to go and meet these people that had stolen my daughter's heart. 19-year-old Carson Whitesell was tragically shot and killed in January, all while working at the peach stand in Fort Mill. But she's still my purpose. I can't let people forget her, and I have to make sure that love and light overcome the evil that took her from this world. Carson's mother is dedicating her life to help the people her daughter loved the most. I never was really committed, but the night that she died, I knew that it had to happen. People have donated more than $46,000 through Carson's Compassion Project, a nonprofit organization Carson's mother launched five months ago. All the structures that we built and dedicate will have this on it. The team will spend a week building shade structures for the people of Swaziland and a community facility with a computer room. We're also doing a playground, which is my favorite thing. But it seems like your daughter's death is bringing so much life to other people. And that's my intent. To keep the love and compassion Carson displayed through her life alive. She would love all the people that are being helped as a result of it because that was really the core of Carson was helping others. Stephanie Tinoco, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Last month, a judge ordered the man accused of killing Carson to undergo a mental competency hearing. The judge will use the results to determine whether Christopher Mendez is competent to stand trial. Investigators say the shooting was random and Mendez did not know Whitesell.